Hey, here's a sci-fi weapon I haven't covered yet. The Husk Warper is something that everybody in my chat seems to talk about, so let's give it some attention. The Husk Warper is one of the most interesting melees in the game, actually, which is funny to say because pretty much every melee in the game is very unique, but the Husk Warper does something interesting. So the warping part of it is the fact that when you right-click the ground or trigger that heavy attack, all of the normal enemies will come towards you and they'll all take damage all at once. And a lot of the gameplay you see initially, or at least in the game that I recorded with a group, uh, we were in a healing death burst zone. This weapon is not very good for that because it doesn't really tick all of that damage at once and a lot of the enemies were healing each other and it made it very very difficult in crowds so if you're not in a healing death burst situation this weapon is very very good my friends give it very very high praise for storm shield defenses because you can just spam that right click suck in all the enemies and go to town and it's a very very good thing to do for area of effect damage because yeah it swings pretty fast and you can run a crit build on this because it has a base 15 percent crit chance and that's really really consistent but if you go ahead and spam that heavy attack you'll be killing groups of zombies very consistently and it's a really good way to go and and that's pretty much it about the Husk Warper. Honestly, like, that's kind of what made me confused when everybody was very interested in this weapon. I suspect that the sci-fi weapons recently have given some form of dupe protection because a lot of people have gotten all the weapons they really wanted or something like that. I assume everybody got the weapons they were looking for and they've turned to the Husk Warper for something interesting. This is a good time to point out that anytime you see me using the Snake Lady, where I'll have, you know, two of these in my hotbar down below, the left one is actually a Sunbeam version and the right one is a Bright Core version. So big shout out to everybody who actually helped me get a copy of this weapon. Triton gave me his copy that even Evo gave him. Both of them are mods on my stream and the discords. You guys have probably seen them. And then uh, Eternal Sky and Skulls were also very helpful in getting me copies as well. We'll mention those copies down the line. And Eternal actually made a Brightcore version on accident. That's just kind of how he already had his. And then the Mad Lad went to the effort to actually get me a Sunbeam copy because I mentioned I wanted to keep my footage consistent. So I'll be able to showcase both of those and you can see me switching between them as we go. As for the difference between Sunbeam and Brightcore though, it's really not that big of a deal. Brightcore does about 20% less damage per hit, which on a melee weapon like this really isn't that big of a deal. And you can see the DPS actually only goes down 10% because you also get a 10% faster swing speed with Brightcore. So I actually found the Brightcore one to be very, very uh, comfortable to use. That extra 10% really did make like a noticeable difference in game. However, that extra damage from Sunbeam is definitely preferred by me personally. So if you're looking to make a choice as for Sunbeam or Brightcore, I genuinely don't think it really makes a difference here, though I would definitely recommend Sunbeam as a blanket suggestion. Now, aside from the heavy attack, I did mention that this is a very fast swinging weapon. So this is one of the fewer weapons in the game. I think a lot of hardwares have this option, a lot of swords and axes don't, but you can have an attack speed, crit rating, and crit damage perk, which means you can do away with that slow swing speed, and that's very important to note. I would never recommend double crit damage on this. I, I just, there's no situation in where I'd recommend that. Even, like, totally rocking out, if you really want to do that, maybe that'll work, but you, you want that attack speed perk. It'll be a lot easier to use, a lot better in game, and a lot higher damage output, because you'll be swinging faster. And alongside that, I use movement speed, and I don't really know why. You can see that these are blue perks. This was, like, a first round take and all the gameplay you saw I was using an all gold one with a damage perk on it and that's where there's a little bit of variability so I'm gonna get that out of the way right away attack speed is just highly recommended I would not suggest anything else I, I seriously wouldn't use a weapon like this without it because these weapons are notorious for having a really slow swing speed and uh, that attack speed allows you to kind of circumvent that crit builds are pretty much just fine with this because with the build that I was using it was over 50% crit damage because I had that uh, hardware crit rating team perk on there because with that bonus on top of an all gold crit rating rather than my blue right here uh, you're critting very very often and it's no no big deal to not be using it in fact you're actually critting the majority of the time which makes it a really really comfortable build if you hate crits and you don't want to be relying on that you can absolutely go just damage perks down here that'll be less dps overall but you know perfectly more consistent and uh, something you might want to do i still recommend a crit build on this as per usual the element is locked to energy as with all sci-fi weapons and the movement speed is where i would definitely change it so you basically have two options here if you have a hard time staying alive you can go life leech that's kind of one of the more interesting ones but heavy attack efficiency is absolutely something i recommend if you're going to be using that heavy attack a lot because that thing is very very expensive and even with saurian focus and the support giving me constant energy regeneration this perk would have been really really nice if i was using it more often but the copy i was given had a damage perk and i found that i really really liked that i'd have to use both of them to really know for sure like if you're using this weapon in game and it's constantly taking like too many swings i mean maybe you can consider that damage perk and really think that that might help you but that 30% damage in my eyes is basically like just taking another swing. It's not like an AR or an SMG where it really smoothens out your experience. It'll just mean that you're going to take like one more hit, which is probably not that big of a deal. The Husk Warper gets its name from its heavy attack and a lot of its ranged effectiveness from its heavy attack. And I think it's kind of a selling point here and I highly recommend heavy attack efficiency. So you can go for either of these depending on your play style. I highly recommend crit builds, but you can go double damage. And then attack speed is certainly a way to go. If you really 
want to go against the grain and maybe do something really unique, you could go double movement speed and have like attack speed and damage or attack speed and heavy attack efficiency. That is not recommended in terms of actually outputting decent damage, but hey, a weapon with double movement speed is always nice to have, especially if you're one of those people who doesn't have the Baron. But if you want to pick up a copy of that, you can just ask somebody. I always recommend our Discord for getting help on these missions. Be polite, be friendly, don't just beg, you know, not everybody is here to serve, you know, every single person. But, you know, if you chat with people, make some friends, I'm sure somebody will be happy to give you a Baron as they kind of just last forever. Now, an alternative build is something I mentioned at the beginning of the video with the copy that Skulls gave me. He likes to run his double life leech crit rating crit damage with a loadout that he provided me that I can show you here, where he utilized the heavy attack efficiency constructor and a couple of other energy regeneration heroes to basically use this as a right click spam weapon. Now, you can accomplish that sort of right click spam by giving this just a heavy attack efficiency for going a life leech perk and then using like a normal ninja build. That might do more damage, but this is something he uses in a lot of storm shield defenses and stands by it. And I think that is a perfectly good way to go because I like to show generally the best perks for like any kind of normal loadout. But if you want to do something more specialized like this, I found that this is a really decent way to go and a very interesting way to play indeed. So if that's something you want to try, you can copy his build right there and give this a shot. But the perk loadouts I mentioned earlier would probably be better for a more general approach to this game if you were doing something less specific. That just about wraps it up, though. If you guys want to support the channel, feel free to use code MISTY to check out. You know, you guys want to become a member, you get lots of perks for that. You can see them right there. Something to consider if that's something you want to do. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Join our Discord link below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, have a nice day. <laughs> and then...